Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK and of course welcome back to Fishing Barrent Sea. So here we are, we've just left Ackerford. We are heading down to Hammerfest to drop off our cargo load which is 3.3 uh, thousand kilograms of filleted fish prepared in Ackerford for delivery to Hammerfest by 18 minutes past one on the 16th of the 9th 2017 so we got like five days to get there no real issue there uh, in the crew elements we've got Bart he's doing the cooking he's not particularly good um, but when we get to Hammerfest we're gonna have a look and see whether Harry's there and if he is um, we won't be naming the boat after him that's for sure but we might see if we can get him back in the crew one thing you might notice is that the uh, the food icon has changed, it's no longer a cheeseburger, it's now fish, well, what's this, crab sticks? And I think there's a bunch of random fish related meals that will pop up here. So that's pretty cool. Um, they did say they were going to change that, so it's nice to see, it's a bit more in keeping with the game itself. Um, what else is that? Oh, this is a new thing, if somebody's working you double click on them, they go back to rest, that's quite nice. Uh, if somebody's there and you drop a character on him, I have asked this to be changed. No, it still doesn't do it. I would rather they swap. So I have made that request to the devs, but uh, I think they're pretty sick and tired of my ideas, so that might not be coming anytime soon. But a double click to return to resting, that's quite a good one, that's handy and makes things a bit better, I guess. You can see the crew just inside there doing their thing, there's Bart cooking and the rest of the guys are in the front just chilling, relaxing, it ain't too taxing. So we can't uh, fast travel, we cannot fast travel because we are carrying uh, mission cargo. We could theoretically lay some nets on the way because we haven't actually done much net fishing or any net fishing in this boat yet. So uh, that's a possibility, but uh, I really want to come down to the uh, uh, southwest corner of the map. It's an area I really like fishing in. So I think we might venture out there and just uh, have a little look and see if we can't get some decent catches um, and fill up uh, the hold. I think we're getting about 300,000 kronar for this mission. So uh, we could utilize that and uh, improve the hold if we can, if we've got enough money, improve the engine as well. So there's going to be some cinematics to get us from uh, Ackerford down to Hammerfest and then uh, and then we'll decide where we're going to go fishing depending on how much we can carry. So let's do that. Okay guys, so we're just rolling in to Hammerfest right now. Cannot wait for the day when all of these dials and uh, buttons... Oh, the aeroplane's back. That's cool. 
for a long while I've been hearing it but not seeing it. Yeah, can't wait for the day when we've got all of these switches and dials and the radio going and oh, it's just going to be immense. This game has a very good future ahead of it, I hope. If everything that's planned to come comes, then it's just going to be sensational. It really is. Now, I have to, I have to tell you guys, um, between the beginning of this video and now, there's an entire 24 hour period uh, where I have had zero sleep. Well, I say zero sleep, I had about 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes before I got woken up, had a brilliant idea, brain went into overdrive, and that was the end of my sleep pattern. So I'm going to be a bit delirious today, a little bit woe, a little bit more woe than usual. What is that? Oh, I can see. Yeah, there's a bit of flat ground. So yeah, right. So we're going to get into Hammerfest. We're going to see if uh, if uh, our um, old crew member is there. Cannot remember his name. I was going to say Rory, but I know it isn't Rory. Uh, that's what I'm going to be like today, I'm afraid, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so yes, what we want to do is get this uh, delivery delivered. That's about 300 kroner in the bank. Hopefully that'll be enough to boost the engines. I think I want to go for the engines before I go for the for the hold. Also, uh, in the latest patch update, not forgetting that they're releasing like two or three of these a day, and I have other things to do, other videos to cover and so on and so forth, but I also have another job to do, I also have a family to look after, so I'm not keeping tabs on everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm not as involved with this game as I was before, just because I don't have the time to do that. And that's fine. Uh, I think they'd had enough of my ideas anyway, to be quite honest with you. I must have dropped about 100 on them, maybe 150, if you include the ones that you guys offered me and I passed on to them. So um, with all that being said, uh, I can only sort of keep up to tabs with some of the changes, but one of the most important changes for this boat is that uh, the hold has been increased by 50%. Now I'm not sure if that applies at each level or whether that only applies at the highest level but it's good news nonetheless, nonetheless. I'm still waiting for the day where speeding um, incurs you a fine. That hasn't happened yet as far as I know. I'm quite happy to go blasting into the port here creating wakes left right and center with no care or attention for anybody else's well-being also quite a few of you don't seem to know this and i don't know why but um ai shipping is coming to the game a lot of you sort of quite frequently i, I see people saying oh this game needs to have like ai shipping or something inv included in it that is coming that's always been the idea um, and it just hasn't been implemented yet. They're doing the, the classic, it's been released, people are having bugs. You know, once, um, so for example, all the beta testers for the weeks beforehand only have a select set number of PC devices. The majority of them are going to be Intel and Nvidia. So it's only when it goes to the mass, uh, to the public and people start using it on a wide variety of machines do you start finding the wide variety of bugs and issues so uh, yeah they do need to focus on that first because if you were if you were one of the people who had bought the game on release day and you're having constant issues that makes it impossible for you to play the game then that's just not simply fair if they focus their time on bringing out new content this is one of the things that people dislike very much about dovetail games is although they have they still have some bugs in a lot of their uh, games and DLCs and so on and so forth but they seem to prioritize bringing out more content before the bugs ever get dealt with and train sim 17 train sim 18 still full of bugs that have never been addressed because they're just not high enough up on the priority list well these guys they're not like that at all misc, misc games um, are 
100% getting the bugs ironed out as quickly as they possibly can before they start bringing out DLC. I'm sure they are working on the DLC, but they're prioritising these bugs, and that's good for people who are having the bugs. And it's fair. It's the only fair and just thing. I would love to take that ship on, do it up. House flipper styly on that boat, that would be fantastic. Get the grinder out, get all the rust off. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming, flying into port here at a whopping six knots. We do need to upgrade this engine, that's so slow. I think the maximum speed is only, what, 12? But that is twice the speed of what we're doing now, so that's probably money well invested. Especially when you've got a heavy load. I don't think the... the, the wow, that came up quick. Bob is very happy with the fish you have delivered for him. Congratulations. Rewards. Reputation with Hammerfest improved. Reputation with Ackerford improved. 330,000 kroner. Thank you so much. Okay, so we still have to go outside in order to dock. And if this was uh, real life, I would have dropped the engine way before now. One good bit of advice uh, that I received when I was a young man and sailing and uh, never forgot is when you're going into port, don't go any faster than you want to hit something. And I think that's good advice. Oh look, we actually lined up properly with the, uh, whatever these things are called. <laughs> Excuse my brain today, I'm absolutely fried. I am so tired right now. I've had about nine coffees. Well, I haven't. I've had three coffees this morning just to try and keep me still going. So yeah, apologies. Let's have a look in the town. Who have we got here? No, he's not here. He's not here. So we are going to name the boat after him because he's not here at Hammerfest. That's fine, that's cool. I actually genuinely thought he was gonna be here, but he's not, so we must have lost him at sea. It's a sad, sad day, but uh, that is the situation. We do have a lot of debt, don't we? But we've got 462,000 in, uh, in the kitty. We don't need no boat insurance, but what we do need is to have a look. So we've already got storage upgrade one. Storage upgrade two is 150,000. We could afford that. We couldn't do both. But I think what we desperately need is an engine upgrade. So I'm going to have to go for that first. Even though that's pretty much all our money gone. And then I can't afford to get the next one in. Have we got no radar? Oh, of course not. Oh, no. Yes, we do. What am I on about? We do have radar, being a fool. I thought we'd upgraded that. Right, a gutting machine is 100,000 kroner. I think that's a good idea, actually. That will speed things up. A freezer would be great, but to be honest, we fill the boat up before a freezer ever becomes necessary. So until that changes in the game, there's no point in that. So we've got 112,000 left. Is that enough to upgrade the hull? Nope, just shy. Never mind. Okay, guys, so we're going to go. I'm going to show you where we're going to go right now. We are going to go all the way over here because I just really like... There's a bit of broken map there I've just spotted. But I'm not bug testing anymore, so we won't go on about that. I'm going to come over here and unlock as much as I can. Can I set a waypoint? I suppose I could fast travel all the way over here, couldn't I? I'm not trying to unlock anything anymore. Let's do that. Oh, I need to come out of port first. Okay. Let's get going. Some new stuff that's come in. Um, some more new stuff. If we look at the crew, you can see... I don't know what that is. What's that? A lettuce? That looks like a... Um, like a fish baguette? Or maybe just a ploughman's or something? I don't know what that is, a fish cake maybe, we got crab sticks there. So Bart has been doing a grand job as head chef. Very impressed with that Bart, thank you so much sir, you've done everybody proud. So we've got a machine gutter, uh, 
a, or a gutting machine I would call it not a machine gut a gutting machine um, so hopefully when we start pulling fish in we'll have them processed before we get back to shore um, that would be great I don't know how much faster that is going to be presumably and hopefully having just paid a hundred thousand kroner for it it's going to be a lot faster than doing it manually so let's see what we can do here let's um who's good at repairs not you not you you're the man okay rudy get the boat back up to 100 percent or as close to as possible we are going to go to the map and we're going to fast travel Zoom. I really feel like the map should follow the boat, to be honest. Okay, right. Let's just bang this on. So you can see that we've literally got no cod fishing spots whatsoever. But I, I've got a sneaky feeling that out here, we're going to find a nice hot spot. So I'm just going just gonna to chillax. We're going to ping about. You can see we're coming into some very deep water. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident that we're going to, I'm pretty sure that searchlight is a bit better than it was. I think the whole game visually looks a bit sharper, but uh, I haven't seen anything in the change logs to suggest that that is something that they've uh, definitively worked on. But uh, yeah, I'm just keep, uh, that is definitely better, isn't it? I mean, I can actually see stuff. Whereas before, if I was looking at that mountain and I put the searchlight on it, I wouldn't be able to see the mountain. I mean, that's how bad it was before. But it's definitely improved, which is a great thing, a wonderful thing. But uh, yeah, we're just going to swing out deep into the ocean here, have a mill about, see what we can find. So I'll do some cinematics now so you can enjoy this beautiful boat in this beautiful game. And, uh, and then when we find some nice little hot spots, we'll drop some nets. That's the plan. test actually there are uh... no still not working if you look over there at that little white dot uh, there are some uh, beacons over there which you can see if I'm in third person but you still can't see that in first person I thought that had been fixed for a moment but uh, no not yet not yet not yet This is the new gutting machine. Presumably the fish come out this end, straight into the boxes. That's pretty cool. Still headless shadows. <laughs> So it looks like we haven't really found a great spot yet. We have found a spot. I suppose I could drop the first net here. Saw a cod then. God, we look awfully close to that island. Which I don't think shows up on the map, does it? 
No, it does. Not as close as it looks. Right, so we want to just ease off. Ease off the throttle. Redfish. Not really after redfish. Aiming for some cod, and there's a bit of cod right there. Drop, drop the big one in. Why not? Not the best spot I've ever seen. So the bigger the net, the better the catch should theoretically be. Now there's a few more fish turning up now. That's good. Good to see. Nice calm weather. Make sure we're not getting too close to that island. We are going to be quite close to the island, I've got to say. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? 11, 2, 4, 8, that's fine. We can cope with all that. Possibly should have checked that first, but whoa, whoa, not paying attention to the net. Nearly, nearly damaged the net there. <sighs> got very lucky there, I've got to say. Very lucky indeed. All right, that's the first net down. Let's uh, let's press on and see if we can find something else. Still no binoculars. Pretty sure I saw something over here, so I'm, th I'm going to swing round and take a look. see out now. The wind has picked up a little bit. Wondering if that's a shoal of fish. I suppose the quickest way is this, isn't it? Oh, I thought I saw something in the water there. Was it just my searchlight? It was just my searchlight, okay. Thought it was bubbles from the fish. <laughs> 